Hello and good day. This is Dr. Peter with the weekly outlook. My topic today is artificial intelligence and trading bots. Regarding artificial intelligence, I must say that it impresses me less than what I read everywhere. Ultimately, what we call artificial intelligence is just an incredible amount of data that is available in the shortest possible time or simultaneously and can be interconnected in all imaginable combinations. That is impressive and can hardly be imitated by human brains. However, the sum of the information is input by humans. For example, I often use ChatGPT to insert years, dates and key figures of events to be mentioned. In that regard, AI is an unparalleled tool. However, very often the information provided by ChatGPT is incorrect and I have to correct it. Therefore, one should never rely 100% of the accuracy of the information. In our business, constant work is being done to improve trading bots, which are fully automated programs that execute trading actions for their users and generate automated profits on an ongoing basis. It is inherent in the nature of things that such a system cannot work in the long run because the market is always a closed zero-sum game. Profits and losses always balance, and in the end only the owners of the fund changes. If a trading bot were to work in the long term, all you would need to do is let it run long enough and the profit-loss ratio of the market would be 100 to 0 in favor of the trading bot user. The market would cease to exist. Trading bot can only work for a while, never until the depletion of market resources. Conclusion. Artificial intelligence and robots of all kinds can only ever be aids and supports, never autonomously functioning systems. Humans are still transmitters and receivers of information from the surrounding field. The purpose of their existence is personal development, not the development of robots that replace them. The more effort we outsource, the less development there is on our side. It's like sending a robot to the gym on my behalf to lift weights and being blessed with how strong it has become and what it has accomplished while my own body withers away. If I leave thinking to machines, I ultimately do myself no favors. The idea has spread that money is at the center of our interest, but that is a tragic mistake. It is personal development that gives meaning to our existence. In the end, it does not matter how much money we had, it matters solely who we were. And we do not become better when we leave thinking and acting to machines. We also do not improve when we cause oversupply of money on the one side and dramatic up undersupply on the other side. For every winner, there is a loser. One's assets are another stand. As the CEO of Crystal's Asset Management, I strive for profit for my clients and my team, but we always keep an eye on the overall system. I avoid excesses of any kind. Always aware that risk and profit are proportional to each other. I want for my clients what I want for myself. Financial and personal freedom, autonomy and sovereignty. If this throat resonates with you, visit our website, become part of the Cruise family. I look forward to meeting you. Sincerely yours, Dr. Peter Reinhardt.